This is Sam. He's going to walk you through the basic gas sampling procedures with the Champion 35 test kit. If a moisture sample needs to be collected, go to Moisture Sampling Instructions and collect that before continuing. If not testing moisture, remove the data sheet from the kit and let's get started. Step 1. In your test kit, you will have input fittings that look like this. So first, connect the input fitting to the flow section if it is not connected. Step 2. Make sure all equipment is securely tightened. Do not insert a sample bottle yet. For your safety, allow adequate ventilation in the sampling area if using gases other than compressed air, since you are exhausting the test gas into your work area. Always use personal protective equipment, such as goggles, when working with pressurized gases. Step 3. Connect the complete unit to your gas source. Open the gas source slowly and allow the pressure on the PVC flow section gauge to stabilize between 4 and 20 PSI. You can adjust the PSI with an inline valve to achieve the pressure. Do not allow the gauge to exceed 30 PSI. Step 4. Choose and record a sample bottle. Record the bottle barcode number on the data sheet under Gas Sample Data. Remove the black shipping cap and replace it with the white sampling cap. Insert the bottle into the fitting containing the needles just above the pressure gauge by pressing straight down onto the needles like so. Do not twist the bottle as the needles will be damaged. The gas sample bottle must run at least one minute. Be sure to check that the white plastic float inside the sample bottle has risen away from the needled fitting. If the float stays near the needles, there may be a clog in the needled fitting. Call TRI at 512-263-0498 if you have any problems. While the gas is still flowing, remove the sample bottle. Remember, do not twist, and replace the white sampling cap with the black shipping cap. The sample must be returned with the black cap tightly in place, or the sample will not be analyzed. Step 5. You have just completed the basic gas sampling procedure. If you are not doing any additional sampling, turn off the gas source valve and disassemble the sampling equipment. Return each part to your kit. Check that the data sheets have been correctly and completely filled out. Step 6. The final step is to ship back the data sheets and kit to TRI Air Testing. Shipping instructions are included in your kit. After shipping the kit back, there's nothing left to do except wait for the results. You will get a reminder when it's time for your next air test. For any questions and additional support, go to airtesting.com to contact us.